Have you ever thought about the fact that there are two ages? There's an age according to the calendar, how many years a person has lived according to the calendar in biological age. Biological and calendar age may significantly differ from each other. We can know that a person is 45 and looks 25, and someone at 25 looks, looks like they're 60. So in this video, we will talk about what biological age is and how to stop biological aging. Welcome to the online school, Vectors Massage and Somatics. My name is Stanislav Chernanov. How do we determine the biological age on the face? First, we must remember that the older a person, the more, as a rule, wrinkles they have. Therefore, the presence of wrinkle on the face along the décolleté zone is the criterion by which we are guided. In addition, we are interested in the structure of the skin. If the skin has small uniform pores, and if the skin has a high tone, then we say that it is a young person. And when the face begins to sag, when the pores begin to enlarge, the vascular pattern becomes visible, we say that the person is aged. For a few minutes a day, you can not only stop age-related changes, but also reverse them. The first place you should pay attention to is the crease that extends from the corners of the mouth. From the corners of the mouth to the lower jaw. The fact is that this fold is connected with the fact that there are muscles that lower the corner of the mouth and accordingly make the smile more downcast. It is immediately clear that the person has lived a difficult hard life and his life did not work out. We can influence this area by working with the place of attachment of this muscle to the lower jaw. If you walk along the angle of your lower jaw from the side, then you will find a tubercle or dimple, depending on which side you go there, and most likely this point will be painful. We direct a point from the line of the corners of the mouth straight to the lower jaw and find. In order to understand that you have put your fingers on correctly, you need to try to make a sad expression on your face. And being at the point of contact, feel how the muscles tense up. Try to lower the corners of your mouth. If this thing is your thing, then you can almost certainly do it without difficulty. Two components are very important here. First, you miss the point, and second, you notice how this muscle tenses. It is a combination of these two factors that is the key to changing your behavior. The thing is that the corner of the mouth drops due to the fact that we are sad. Due to the fact that we are sad and overstrain this muscle. You need to notice how you lower the corner of your mouth at the moment when you are sad and generally stop being sad and stop lowering the corner of your mouth. If you don't want to look like this, you need to remember this point for at least two to three weeks, a month until the soreness goes away from there and until you feel and learn to perform movements with these mimic muscles absolutely consciously. That is, you won't start noticing how you do it during your daily life. But it is impossible to talk about the youthfulness of the face if we only look at the muscular system. Of course, wrinkles are formed to a very significant extent by muscle tone, but the state of the lymphatic system also has a huge impact. Muscles work and produce garbage, decay products, and this garbage needs to go somewhere, and the lymphatic system removes it. If, for example, we continue to talk about the chin, then in the same fold forms the jaw of the puppet, there are lymphatic vessels and nodes. For example, there are lymph nodes under the chin. If these lymph nodes are congested, there will be bad skin on the chin. The chin will be swollen and sagging and there will be vascular problems. And we continue. Here we have, for example, the lymphatic system along the chin. The lymph nodes here, which pass into the lymph nodes under the edge of the lower jaw and then pass into the venous angle. It is very important to work with these structures so that the skin is free from toxic substances, from excess fluid. This will rejuvenate the skin. So, for example, in order to properly work out the lymphatic system of the face, we will initially have to work out the venous angle, then work out the lymph nodes passing through the carotid arteries, and then work out the lymph nodes under the jaw, and after that work out the lymph nodes located along the chin and along the lower edge of the jaw. After that, we move on to the lymph nodes near the ears and directly on the face. If the practitioner makes a mistake with the sequence of movements, this can bring not only benefit, but also harm to our patient. Stanislav, can people's chins swell? Of course, the chin can swell and it looks unattractive and very aging. 
By working with this place, you can not only stop these changes, but also reverse them. Well, the third place, which we will talk about in this video, which form the feeling of a more elderly face is the folded face. First, it is very important for us to remember that the NASA sponge is formed as a result of excessive unhealthy muscle tone that lifts our upper lip and nose wings up. Secondly, the state of the lymphatic system has a very great influence on the formation of the nasolabial fold. Large lymphatic vessels pass here in this way and accordingly, when lymph gets stuck along the chin or along the lymphatic ducts that are around the nose, this may be due to, for example, to the fact that the muscles that attach to the zygomatic bone and to the upper jaw are in excess tension. It does not allow the lymph to pass freely. We have to work with both muscles in the lymphatic system. But besides this, it is also very important to remember that in the region of the nasolabial fold, there is a projection of points in the maxillary sinuses. Our nose is a place to which we inhale and exhale air, and accordingly, through the air we inhale a huge amount of particles of dust, dirt, bacterial viruses, and it is in the sinuses. These are the structures that purify the air and fight harmful agents. Accordingly, if we have an inflammatory process in the maxillary sinuses, this will lead to the formation of excessive edema here. This will manifest itself in the fact that the skin and the projections of the maxillary sinuses will be inflamed, deformed, will have a different color and will have enlarged in the size of the vessels. Accordingly, it is very important to work with the projections of the maxillary sinuses so that there are more than two nasolabial folds and there is no edema and deformed skin here. We do this to work with points along the projection of the maxillary sinuses. If you look at yourself in the mirror, they are right on the line of your pupil. If you draw a line vertically down, then you will find that there is a special point at the intersection of this line with a zygomatic bone, which in most cases is quite painful. And if it is painful, then this indicates that there are problems in the respiratory system. And by working with this structure, you can help not only your health, but also your beauty in addition. We find a point. We find a comfortable lever of pressure on this point. It is important that we find the point by feel, and it is not painful, and we exert a static effect vertically downwards, or you can exert a slight rotational effect on this point and work out the entire border of the zygomatic bone. These are the places of attachment of the muscles of the upper lip, and the places where the meridians of the stomach pass, and the places where the maxillary sinuses are projected, a very important point. Be sure to work with it. It can cause an exacerbation of the common cold at first. Be careful with this. Do not be afraid. On the other hand, remember that this kind of work has not only an immediate effect on you, but also has a long-term effect that accumulates through a change in your health. This whole complex, if you work with points on the lower jaw, work with lymph and work with points in the projection of the maxillary sinuses will take you approximately five to seven minutes. If you perform it at least three or four times a week, you will notice that your face has changed significantly after a month. The skin will become better, puffiness will decrease, wrinkles will begin to smooth out. In addition, you will be surprised to find that, for example, smells will become brighter. You will find that your mood has improved and in general, it has become easier to live and breathe. Here is this piece related to work with the lymphatic system in the venous angle. Then we put our hand on the carotid artery and work on the carotid artery. Then we put a hand on the submandibular lymph nodes. Then we put our hand on the lymph nodes that come from the chin. It would be nice to work out the entire chin protrusion in general, but special attention is needed here. I got it. Yes, in my opinion, you can pinch your chin a little. Separately, we put handles on the lymph nodes that go from the nasolabial fold and from the eyes.
and separately we work on the structures that go to the upper jaw of the zygomatic bone. It would also be nice to work in this way. Shifting, work with the lacrimal glands. You can pluck, but this is not for all cases. Is it normal to have a reddened face? This is good. It means that the intensity of blood circulation has increased. This will lead to the fact that the skin will receive more nutrition, the blood will better remove decay products, and after a while with the skin, the face will rejuvenate and become more beautiful. Well, as always, I'm grateful to you for watching this video to the end. I'm grateful to everyone who writes in the comments, likes our video, and shares with friends. This is very important for the promotion and life of the channel. Well, as always, my name is Stanislav Chernanog, the author and creator of the online school Vector Massage and Somatics, and the YouTube channel of the same name, where we learn to make ourselves beautiful and healthy and make a career with our hands. Until we meet again, friends, take care.